Good morning to you. We've moved over to Rancho Los Alamitos. This is a historic site in Long Beach, and we're here because we're going to speak to the new mayor, Rex Richardson, here shortly. But first, I want to give you some background on what's been happening. So take a look at this video that we've obtained, the surveillance video. There's been a, a rash of crimes along 4th Street that happened over the weekend. Really, really tough for these small business owners. There was one popular pizza shop, Speak Cheesy, that posted the surveillance of the criminal who busted into their store about 5 a.m. Saturday, smashing windows and stealing the safe with, quote, a significant amount of money. And then check this out. The criminal then headed to Baja Sonora and the breakfast bar, where he also vandalized and burglarized them as well. We called Long Beach Police this morning to get more information on their efforts to find the suspect. And while they're gathering that information, the city of Long Beach is trying to help these small business owners. More on that momentarily, but first, here's the owner of the pizza shop. Listen to what he said. And small businesses are an easy target. We're not big corporate chains with huge security systems and, you know, 250 pound safes and, you know, we're, we're just, we're just your small, you know, family business. So all we know about the suspect description because he was wearing a mask and hard to see, but he was driving a white Kia. If you have any information, you're asked to call Long Beach Police. And uh, in the meantime, we are going to bring in the mayor, Mr. Richardson. Congratulations Thank on you. your recent win. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, we were with the business owners earlier, and they said, you know, we want to know from our new mayor on, on what he plans to do in response to all of this. Well, first, we know that small businesses are a vibrant part of our local economy. I love hanging out on 4th Street and visiting some of the very businesses that were vandalized. So, so it hurts when we see these things. But let's be honest, uh, small businesses have had a hard time the last few years since the beginning of the pandemic in our downtown, in our business corridors. So uh, a couple weeks ago when we announced our declaration of emergency, we started by standing up additional resources on homelessness, a mobile access center, additional outreach, more shelter capacity, and now we're shifting to small businesses. Last week, the city council uh, allowed us to create a new small business uh, assistance fund that allows $1,500 for businesses that have been vandalized since October 1st of last year to be able to recoup some of those resources. We know that there's a lot more to be done, but we wanted to show up with something in hand to let the businesses know that help is on the way. And I'm sure that's very much appreciated. In fact, they told us such uh, earlier because I think the pizza shop had 8,000 in damage, 1,500 will help alleviate some of that. What is your message to these business owners? Hey, we love our small businesses and we love Long Beach. We're a great town and our best days are ahead. So hang in there. We're here to support you and our local community is going to show up and help support you. You'll make you'll be in a better position when we come out of this than we are in today. We appreciate your time in the midst of your staff planning retreat That's you have right. going on. We're going to ask him a couple more questions and have more uh, with the mayor coming up in the next hour. But for now, I'm Christina Pascucci reporting live for Fox 11 News. I'll send All it right. back to you. Thank you, Christina.